Hello, folks. I'm Ju Young, AI Developer Relations from Google DeepMind. Today, I'm going to talk about how you can apply Gemma 3 to the world of chess. Now, I know what you might be thinking. AI playing chess is old news, right? We've got amazing engines like AlphaZero that dominates the 6 4 scale. But we are not looking to replace them. Instead, we are interested in how Gemma can bring a new dimension to the game. You see, language models like Gemma are fantastic at understanding and creating text based on patterns they've learned. While that's not the same as calculating the best chess move, it gives us some cool opportunities. Let's examine specific areas where this capability can be leveraged. One really cool thing you could do with Gemma is make chess analysis way easier to understand. You know how those traditional chess engines speed out all those numbers and weird move sequences. It can be a bit much, right? Well, Gemma could take all the technical stuff along with the actual moves and turn it into plain text. Think about it. You are looking at a tricky game and instead of just seeing an F3, Gemma could tell you something like, this knight move is smart because it grabs control of important squares in the center and gets ready to bring more pieces out of the king's side. It can actually explain why a move is good, what the big ideas are, and what dangers might be lurking. Plus, imagine having Gemma summarize those really complicated parts of the game. It could pick up uh, the key tactical moments and strategic moves behind that would be super helpful for quickly getting the important takeaways from tons of games. Okay, so here's another really neat idea. Imagine Gemma being able to tell stories about chess games. It could look at the moves and maybe even know things like who was playing, what tournament it was, and then actually write the description of how the game went down. Think about those famous old chess matches or even that one amazing game you play. It could really bring the game to life in a way that just looking at the moves on a page could never could. It's like when you are trying to solve a puzzle and someone gives you a cool backstory. It just makes the whole thing more interesting and that aha moment even better, right? That's the kind of feeling Gemma could bring to looking at chess games. Now, if you are trying to get better at chess, get this. Gemma could be like your super helpful study buddy. Ever get stuck wondering about the Sicilian defense? Or maybe you are scratching your head about what exactly a past phone is. Well, you could simply ask Gemma in your own language, like Korean, for example, and it would totally understand and explain it to you Kind of like having a really smart chess encyclopedia right there whenever you need it. And it gets even cooler. Gemma could also give you feedback on your, how well you understand chess ideas. It could explain things in a way that makes sense for your level and even point out stuff you might want to work on. It's almost like having your own personal chess coach who's available 24-7. Pretty neat, huh? Okay, so when you look at chess engines like AlphaZero, they are basically super smart calculators. They use these incredibly fine-tuned programs that let them look really far ahead in the game, checking out millions of possible moves and figuring out how good each result position would be using some clever rules they have. It's all about precise calculation and figuring things out, so uh, for sure. A powerful approach combines chess AI's analytical strengths with Gemma's language skills. Gemma uses function calls to retrieve the optimal next move and then generates a clear explanation of its strategic and tactical advantages. This pairing of AI computations with Gemma's linguistic abilities uh, offers a more intuitive approach to chess learning and analysis. All right. So the fact that Gemma can understand, explain, and even talk like us opens up a ton of cool new stuff for chess. Think about it. For making learning easier and analyzing games in a more human way to even telling awesome stories about matches, these tools are turning out to be super useful for making our chess experience even better. 
So, what do you think about all this? Are there any other ways you can imagine Gemma being used in the world of chess? Or maybe even in other games you love to play? Definitely let us know your thoughts down in the comments. And hey, if you found this interesting, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more, and share it with your chess buddies. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll catch you next time.